Hello and welcome back to RimWorld, my friends. My name's Kalan, and this is the suspicious cult of the Lost Ones in RimWorld. Right. As of last time, again, we are suffocating in leather. We could just throw it outside, I guess, to forever... Oh, why is there a carbine out here not being brought in? Um, we could just throw it outside so it just rotted. Uh, because we don't actually need it, but that's like throwing away money. So whilst I can store it, even if it is inelegant, I will store it. Here over at seven days left, I'd love to be able to leave. However, Doug is out with sensory mechanites, not really for any health reasons, rather just for the fact he's a fucking wimp. And because he's such a wimp, it means we cannot load him into a launch pod. So we have to wait for that, essentially. We don't have to wait, we can just leave Doug here. But I'm always loath to just give up another colonist. We do have some naming to do, though, as suggested by the Discord chat. So, Enjipook, Inisan, and myself uh, meet up with Star to do some D&D occasionally and we have three characters from there we have three people on the uh, to name so it kind of makes sense for us to choose uh, for me to, to put those guys in so a banboira good at melee quick sleep at masochist lyra very good at melee quick sleep at brawler and finally we have doug who's too smart kind and wimp well, it doesn't fit, fit fucking any of them. Uh, <laughs> okay, apart from the fact that none of these these characters are anything like our our D&D characters, I'm going to go with a Banboira being Norvi, which is Inisan's character, a ranger. If only because is the best at animals out of the three and the worst at melee. Uh, that's a very bad reasoning, but there we go. I'm going to say that Frathborn, my character, big fat paladin, is Ballad, because the, uh, Ballad's the best of the Malias and also is a brawler and is the fattest player model. And then finally, that leaves Wimpy Smart Boy over here as Gimpy Bimble. Uh, it's just Puck's character. <laughs> Accurately named. <laughs> Right, now that's, now that's out of the way, let's, let's carry on. Uh, time's just going to pass here. I've got people doing, like, wildlife shit, and they're going to cook meals, and we'll be sending stuff back, etc. I think there's a few... Yeah, there's quite a bit of steel just to pick up around the map. We're not going to take on the poison ship. I don't see the need to. Um, but we are going to chop down a load of trees just in case we need the wood. Essentially, biding our time over here. Meanwhile, back at main base... Uh, we do need to get these bionics put in. Jackie's back. Where is she? Jackie's back, but she's got a, le a leg missing. Uh, so I'm not particularly keen on... I'd rather have Shuzgo and Jackie like complete each other, because they've both got a leg missing, before going uh, and doing the mass bionics. If I take Shuzgo away... We still have Scarlet as a good doctor, and put Can Doctor... Um, which would, they would cover each other. Um, yeah, okay, do you know what? I'm going to send Shuzgo back. He's not very happy right now. So, Shuzgo, why don't you load yourself up? We'll get some bionics started over yonder. Now, I was complaining about always losing legs, and oh, you kidding me, another fucking poison ship. Well, this one's over here, and that's fine, because that's A, next to our base with the mortars, and B, far enough away that I can just shell it for pretty much ever. Uh, I did want to say, though, Jackie mentioned something in the comments. I thought that was really smart, and I was dumb for not thinking it, which is the reason we're losing legs and such is because we have no armor on the legs. I make flak vests to protect the chests because those can be worn underneath parkas, and parkas are one of the best things at keeping a colonist warm. I haven't been using flak armor because it takes the place of warm clothing uh, the, the pants or if I choose something like this composite vest, that takes the place of a parka and it does all fuck all for the cold insulation. Whilst I might not be able to protect the arms with a composite vest, even though I don't think it does protect the arms, actually do we have anything to protect our arms? Ah yes, a flak jacket, I believe that does the trick. Uh, yes, that protects arms. This Again, not very good at protecting the cold, but it would take the place of a uh, parka, which I think is the best 
piece of equipment, piece of clothing to uh, protect yourself from the cold. Taking that out of the equation, because I don't want all my colonists to freeze to death, it doesn't mean, with careful planning, we can't do a load of flak pants. So I'm gonna, how much, what, how much do they cost? Cloth, steel, and a component, that's effectively nothing. We have quite a lot of cloth. We have 300 cloth, that's enough to make 10. Uh, Steel-wise, we don't have very much at the moment, but we are gonna send back about a thousand. I'm willing to give us some pants because mobility, as I've discussed before, mobility is like one of the key things about RimWorld. If your colonists can move fast, they can do things fast. So I'm gonna get us to make, oh god, that's a lot of people. We'll, we'll go for five. See what it's like if we can give them to some key runners, people with already that already have advanced bionic legs, for example. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see how that goes. Come on home, let's go. Uh, oh god, Scarlet. Scarlet being the ever sick now has muscle parasites and sensory mechanites. That's pretty fucking awful. And she's our main. No, I've just sent away the only the doctor. Ah, I do see the error of my ways. Uh, Puck. Before you break, because of the psychic drone... Oh god, there's a female psychic drone as well. Christ's sake. Before you break, can you go and tend to Scarlet, please? Okay, well, Shuzgo's gone back now. and uh, Not much I can do about that. I mean, I can always send Shuzgo back again, or a different Doctor. For now, let's just get Scarlet fixed up by Puck, and then... Puck, try and not... Yeah. Lose yourself. Come on, Jackie, don't fail me. Excellent work. If you could then tend to just go excellent, you are already. Brilliant! Okay, and when Shuz goes up, he'll do the same for Jackie, and we'll finally have our surgeons back up top physical performance, and then... Man, that's a lot of bionics put in. Alright, seems like it's going to be leg day. Uh, we want a right leg for Simrex. Goldie also wants a right leg. He also wants... Ah, of course. We were making Robo Goldie another Superman woman thing. Okay, four's good enough to begin with. Jackie's finishing up her rest. Simrex is coming in with a for a leg. And we have a Find we have Tajira coming in for a spine and a hand. Oh, oh for Christ's sake. <laughs> God damn it, we finally got our first coupling. And it's only taken them like half a month and they're already bored with each other. Ah, oh, Finders is not going to be happy with that. There we go, Robo Goldie. I think you're complete. Is there anything that you're missing? Shuz goes, I kind of like my baseline for this. Uh, you need a couple of things in the face region: eyes, ears, and a jaw. But my God, you look sexy, sir. Oh, Jackie's up. Goldie is being taken care of by Shuzgo, so Jackie's working on Tajira. This is the kind of shit I've wanted to see for months, <laughs> in and out of game. Ah, unfortunately, we've run out of legs. <laughs> so, unfortunately, Simrex, your medication is cancelled for now. However, Tajira, looking good. And Robo Goldie, may I say, that's a lovely pair of eyes you're about to have. Oh, god damn it! I made flak jackets, not flak pants. That's frustrating to the most. God damn it, that's exactly the opposite of what I wanted to do. I made three of them, it seems. Who's wearing them? Okay, it's the start of a brand new day. We've had some bionics put on. Let's have a little break from the bionics to uh, destroy this poison ship, shall we? Smack bang on target, that last hit. Um, 13 centipedes, 17 lancers, 13 scythers. That seems less than it was pre like we've had previously, uh, which surprises me. Oh, nice hit on the centipede there. Oh, don't think I really killed any, but that's... I did hit the ship once. I need to be careful of that. One more hit on the ship, and that will end up with us uh, getting the whole lot on us, our face permanently. Um, but for now, that was a fairly decent chunk of damage. Spread out, I think, as well. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a very, very decent shot. Oh, two really, really accurate shots there. Here they come. Oh, once again, we've not hit the poison ship, and that's more dead. 
The only downside to this consistent shelling is we are destroying the corpses of the uh, Lancers and Scythers that we have killed previously. But really, it's a small price to pay to make the eventual raid that much easier. Bomb voyage! I'm going to aim for the uh, the poison ship now because it's got to the point where I don't think filling the numbers anymore will do much good for us. And that has definitely just well, not destroyed it, but taken it down to a point where they're going to attack us now. Excellent. And we did manage to thin the number once more. One more Lancer. Excellent work. They're going to come and get us. Ah! Right. This could be interesting. Uh, Rare Thrombos. Very nice. Over here. We're going to ignore that. We've got plenty of meat as is. Friendlies from the northwestern region. Coming to moving in to help me. Oh my god. That's a lot of friendlies. Uh... Okay, well, the first, like, ranks, I guess the uninjured, Lancers and Scythers, are coming to meet us. They're going to get their, their shit kicked. The second set, the slower, more injured ones, and the centipedes, are going to chew these guys apart. How many are there? There's 129 on map. So there's 108 friendlies have just turned up. And a vast, oh, a very large quantity of them are drinking go juice. Oh my god, look at them go. Juice. That's insane. I got Yayo going on there. They have no explosives, which is probably for the best. They have a lot of very good weaponry. This could go very well for us in terms of we get a load of free stuff. I'd rather not have my allies die. And if too many of them get injured, I will not have enough space to save them. I guess I can turn these guest quarters into medical places at a push. Okay, this is going to go fine. I probably don't even need defenders. I'll leave them here because it makes sense. What I'm more interested in is, oh my god. Well, they're taking them out. There's one Lancer down. Lancers being the weakest of the lot. Another Lancer down. It's going to be these guys. It's going to be the centipedes. I think we just let this play out. Enjoy. They're going to blame me, that's the word, for every one of their people that dies. This is... Okay, this is going to go very poorly then. Why are they blaming us for some of their deaths? They've had quite a few deaths. But they're not blaming us for Gwil, for example. Good name. Uh, and someone just went down here. Lisa, why did they... Oh, this is it, okay. Whatever. Just a quick check back here. Everything has been cleaned up. You guys really can just go about your business. Another centipede down. Only nine to go. Wait a second. Nine to go? There's only two dead there. That's 11. There were 13 centipedes. <gasps> you sneaky devils. Okay, we are going to need some people to defend then. In fact, you know what? No, this is going to be a solo defense by Inisan. Inisan is going to stand against two centipedes. Come on, Northwestern! Oh god, their melee are just getting torn apart by themselves more than the actual centipedes. It's got a burn here and a burn there. But look how much damage is coming from their own ranged. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus, how are they still going? They've only gone and fucking done it. Great job, team. Just in time for us to deal with this lot down here. And when I say us to deal with them, <gasps> Jackie, no. <laughs> Jackie, you can be the only help I'm allowing any Sam. There's very few people down and not already dead. I count two, actually. Well, what instead we're going to do then is make a new zone of the home variety and tell everybody to go put the fucking fires out so we can save as many centipedes as we can. Oh wow, whilst I was trying to organize fires being put out, one of the centipedes is dead already. She's just go, that's... Well, both of them are dead! What kind of sniping was that? Holy shit! The fluid reprocessor? I assume it's very important to a centipede. That was shattered and... Head shot off of the other one. I didn't even know you could shoot the head off a centipede. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Well, Ilisan, you did well. <laughs> Go team. Oof. What an absolute mess. How many of them are alive now? This is 108, I believe there was. Now... Minus my 21, there's only 61 on the field. They lost 40 people. That's horrific. But better them than us. <laughs> we lost like 40 rep with them. And if the two people we're going to rescue actually survive, then they should get... We should... Oh, he's... Oh, risk. Okay, Anderson's only going to survive if we patch him up right here. Mariana should survive us taking us back, her back to the base. Um... Yeah, the only, the, we're going to get back 15 for each of these, so we're still going to lose rep with them overall. Oof, what a, what a, what a huge fight. Come on, Shuzgo. Save that man's life. Oh, with ease. With absolute ease. And Shuzgo, please bring him back to base. Excellent. Random guy's got Mariana. And we've got a whole host of fucking stuff. Uh, some of the people in our group were from the Northwestern Elysium from bygone days. Shuzgo's friend Min died, for example. That's a shame. Something happened. I was trying to get rid of the smoke leaf binge, and I think I got rid of the other thing that happened. Ha! Ah. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh! Ooh, multiple raids. 67 and 75. Interesting. All Mali, all tribal. I don't know if they're sapping or not because I got rid of the thing instantly, just by complete accident. Haha, -ha, we got one. Worth it. Here they come. Two down already. Ah, beautiful, beautiful flames. Ah, ah, just feels so good. And because they're separate um, groups, yeah, we're only going to need to kill about 30, 35 of these before they clear off. Uh, and then and a, and a similar number for the 72. Oh, that limestone wall is going to go down very quickly. Excellent. Look at them all try to curl round that wall to get in melee. They're literally queuing.
This is just... This is just horrible. Oh, I won't set fire to my nice little chairs down here. That had art, you bastard. Okay, they're all fleeing. And as such, they're able to squeeze together because they're not in combat, apparently. Normally, I try and put these fires out, go and get the weapons and save them, and then and etc. etc. And then I put the bodies in here to be incinerated. <laughs> but I need to remind myself actually to incinerate these lot. But I'm not going to bother. We have so many shitty spe steel spears and maces and such that getting more of them just isn't worth it. So I'm going to let this burn itself out and just call it a day. Little update. It's like really there, there was the raid that happened a while back. But apart from that... I've been recording for a solid, like, two hours and nothing's happened. And when I say nothing, like, even my bionics aren't getting done. Something is making my people very, very slow. Uh, I don't really know what it is. Um, maybe I'm just expecting them to be too fast. But it's a high psychic drone going on. Uh, that should end soon. Gimpy Bimble's still fucking down. These sentry mechanites take a long time to quit. So, uh, seven days left. Uh, is just basically becoming a food factory for Suspicious. It's just, this Kurz is permanently doing this run back and forth. Pook's occasionally going out and killing something in Scarlet's cleaning, and that's it. <laughs> that's all they're doing. Okay, we've got several groups using sappers. Um, and there's some relations in there. Let's have a look, see. So we got one group, Ormali, 37. Second group, Ormali, 27. Third group, Ormali, 31. I was thinking about it, and I kind of forgot last time. Uh, but I need to start walling this. If I wall this off here with a couple of granite pieces, say those two, then we can still access these three from in here. And to be honest, I can put a doorway say there and there that will help us access this area where and but if they break through this top section because they've really got a choice of here and here which leads to the guns so they don't want to do that and then they've got these three at the top or they break through doors over in other gun section so if they break through these three and this is walled off they should funnel into our kill zone as we originally planned uh, I unfortunately forgot about it before this raid, but let's see where they go and attack. Gators are 9.52 move speed. The Nebs only are 5.51, so I'm going to suggest that, well, everybody goes Manhunter, but Gator is going to do a little, as they are normally, Gator's going to do a little bit of run and gun, as it were. Okay, Gator, I want you to essentially Deal with this entire group on your own. Go on, get him. Don't let him sap in. Gator, you are starting to get attacked, so let's move you back. Focus on Lorocco or Lococo, Neb. Or just shoot whoever you want, to be honest. Okay, you aren't fast enough to run and gun whilst, shoot, uh, whilst being chased, Neb, so keep going. Gator however is. So interesting, so that's a good indication. They're essentially moving the same speed there. Uh, and Gator's a 9.52, Neb is a 5.51. So to run and gun, it takes away about four movement speed, four uh, C per S, which is, I don't know, cells per second. I'm not sure what, the, what it stands for. The first group's actually going to engage our guns, and I really should get some defenses up. They are just standing there getting shots. They haven't even got a, a sapper. Unless it's like this guy who's just taking his time getting there. This, this is fine. Oh shit, we never actually built that limestone door back up again. Nevengator is still... 
Ah, it looks like it is Salamander they're waiting for to bust things open. Oh, it doesn't look like they're waiting any longer. We did get Salamander, though. Back over here. They are charging, but they're charging into a lot of gunfire. I'm not sure what this is going to do for them, really. They're probably going to take out that turret, but they should flee here fairly quickly. Annoying as it is, I think I have to watch this. Biohazard's under attack. They're going to flee soon, surely. Yeah, they're gone. Fantastic news. Uh, we're actually going to not bother with killing the majority of these guys because they're going to break through this door over here soon. Oh, the Nev and Gator are, ex are exacting such a fucking toll on these guys. I'm amazed one of the groups hasn't fled. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, they're through. And of course they're going the way I don't want them to. Doing a bit of a pincer move with Gator and the Neb. At the top. Usually the AI is quite adequate. This time it's been pretty shitty, if I'm honest. Just letting us shoot them. I guess they didn't expect it. Okay. Well, that was fairly simple. Um, good job, team. Some people need to be healed. Gator and Neb need to count up their kills. For God's sake, that was amazing. Okay, we're actually down. Barring the stuff we can't get rid of, which is a load of melee weapons. Tons and tons of melee weapons. We're actually down to relatively few ranged weapons. Uh, at all, which is fantastic, because we've had far too many for far too long. Hopefully we can get rid of this these separate weapons areas and just put them all in one. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of these weapons at all, because there's just so many of them. And we continue to wait for Gimpy Bimble. The oh, I hate Sentry Mechanites. They last so fucking long. Finally worshipped enough to get a new spell from Bast. Sanctuary. Protects your settlement from most hostiles. Now, is this going to mean... Like, th when I see this... Is it like the Pinozyxixiline, which you take beforehand and then it prevents malaria, or you get a raid, you sacrifice somebody and then half them piss off? So next time there's a raid, we'll quickly sacrifice one of our lovely guests and see what happens. I'm disappointed in you, Gimpy Bimble. I'm disappointed. I'd wanted today's episode to finish on a highlight of us getting rid of this bloody camp. Well, to be honest, I wanted that at the start of the episode. Uh, it has not come to pass. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. This has been one of the longest records I've done in a while. And I was just, just waiting and waiting for these bloody sentry mechanites to go. I've made adjustments on, like, whilst we've been doing this. We have so many meals. We have a thousand meals. Uh, a lot of them will probably go off quite quickly when we hit the road. Because uh, they're all simple meals from uh, Seven Days Left. But we've got those, we've got, what are this, like 440 survival meals. I'm trying to get, build up stocks of beer, smoke leaf, and tea. So that we are fucking ready. Because it's not just a caravan across the world, it's also a, a caravan that uh, is meant to destroy outposts as it goes. In the perfect world, everybody would have two bionic legs and a bionic spine, just because speed is, is king. Probably next week will be another really long record. Man, by by my birthday in May, we better have fucking left. Because <laughs> that would have been like a solid nine months of the real time, the real world where I've been preparing. Jesus Christ. Maybe I should just do like a... What do you guys think? Should I just do like a 15-hour record where I don't, don't show anything but just get ready to leave? I'll leave it up to you guys to decide on that. Um, for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!